Hello and welcome Pisces. I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it Pisces. Let's check up on the energy of your person. Let's see how they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationship. Okay, you can take these energies how they resonate. Roles could be reversed. Energies could be exchanged. Keep that in mind when you're viewing this video. If something doesn't fit for your story, don't try to make it fit. You know, just leave it for the next Pisces. Okay. So let's hop into it, Pisces. Okay. First card showing up is gossip. Okay. This may person this the card says I'm I, I'm afraid of what other people will think. Which just pissed me off because I was about to say something totally different. I was finna really speak on how they talk to their best friend about you. Or this person keeps your name in their mouth. But I don't think it's to a lot of people. I just think they rap, they got a really good friend or somebody close to them that they speak on you about. They talk to this person about you. But only this person. I don't feel like it's a group of people. I just feel like it's one person that they share secrets with about you commitment i want you to be a part of my future right so maybe this person is talking to someone about marrying you or getting serious with you or really you know kind of like settling down with you daydreaming i'm always longing for you so it's like when this person ain't with you you just always on their mind it's like they can't stop thinking about you i'm here and they not only daydream about you they dream about you when they're asleep so it's not only when they're awake it's when they're asleep too this person is consistently manifesting something deeper out of this situation they're in their feelings about you and um they're talking to someone about, you know, maybe what the next steps are, what they're going to do, you know. Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Okay, so this person is definitely open to communication as well. They, they may communicate very well with you. Okay, third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. Okay, so this ain't always, oh, excuse me. This ain't always been like peaches and cream. This ain't always, it ain't, it ain't always been good. You know what I'm saying? No relationship is perfect. Okay, you guys done had some struggles in the past or some differences or things that got in between y'all. It don't necessarily, that third party don't necessarily have to be other people. It could be jobs. It could be children. It could be other situations, right? So something did get in the way of this situation at one point or another. Either it stopped altogether or it came to a pause. Unfinished business. This person kept an open line of communication with you, right? They never, this is somebody who would never just leave you alone. That's the energy that I get because they always thinking about you. They always talking about you. They really, really love you and want some something deeper out of this, some form of commitment. Okay. So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's check up on their energy. Let's see what's going on with them. What is the energy of Pisces person? Okay, we got the world. Okay, so for some of you, this is a new beginning. Some cycles around this situation has been closed so that you all can move on. I see this person wanting a new beginning with you here. Maybe want to travel with you, take you away from where you're at. King of Pentacles, yes, this is definitely somebody who... um is down with the commitment thing, down to be married. You know, this is somebody who really enjoys stability, especially within their finances and in their relationship. Okay, this is a secure person. The Ace of Swords, very honest and communicative type of person, right? Mm-hmm. This person may do magic tricks. You may feel like they are magic. Okay, they're... they're uh, their communication style may draw you back in. I feel like this person make a lot of promises. The strength. Okay. I feel like this person is strongly attached to you and they brave enough to let it be known to you. Okay. To you. 
feel like there's somebody who love their mama. For whatever reason, that's who I feel like they share all their business with. That's who they talk to about you. Whether it be male or female, this is somebody who loves their mama. And that's who they talk to. That's where they get their advice from. That's who coaches them. That's who uh, they listen to when it comes to making life-changing decisions. They run it by their mama first or their daddy. Okay? That's what I'm feeling. But this is a strong individual who's fairly honest, who do see a future with you, actually wants a future with you, and that is very committed and loyal, that will provide everything you guys need, okay? To have a successful relationship. The fool, right? This person trusts you. They're waiting for you, maybe waiting for an answer. Maybe they already, you know, came to you about deepening or strengthening this situation. But they're waiting for you. They trust you here. They're ready to travel the world with you. That's how I feel. Okay, what's crossing the energy here is the four of cups. They don't want to miss an opportunity that they have with you. Like, it's like this person want to be with you all day, every day. OK, um, <clears throat> I feel like they don't want to miss this opportunity with you. Feel like this is somebody who's doing everything they can to kind of like keep you around. OK, the world. What is this world part of a Pisces person? What is this new beginning for Pisces and their person? And it's the Eight of Wands. It's all about moving forward. I don't know. This This is the Hollywood deck, by the way. And it's all about traveling and, you know, exploring the world and having the best life and, you know, just really being involved, right? So I see this, this person is ready to move forward. Like I'm saying, you guys may be moving in together or moving to a different state or town or a different house, but I do see uh, a lot, a lot of, a lot of moving forwards. Like somebody's getting prepared to um, take on a lot more responsibility, right? So I do see this person wanting forward movement, wanting to start new, a new beginning, a new cycle, a new place. This is all feeling new, and it feels like we have a lot to do. Okay, the lovers. <laughs> You guys could elope. I'm hearing elope. Even though this is the Hollywood deck, I feel like I see Vegas. I feel like y'all eloping. Y'all might not have that big traditional marriage. Y'all might just go to the Justice of the Peace building. Or y'all might, you know, on trips wherever you at. You just might elope. I feel like this this travel thing is a, to elope, to go get married, to go... You know, just have an adventure to travel and just experience this. Okay, that's what I'm feeling like. This person's definitely in love with you. And they may want to elope here. Okay, we got this King of Pentacles. And it comes with the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, this person is too happy to invest into you, to boost your career, to invest into your career, to invest into your hobbies. I feel like this is someone who wants to cater to you. Who thinks the world of you. The sun. you. I mean, for real, Pisces. Whoever this person is, you everything. You everything. You all they need, you all they want. Okay? And I do feel like this is a marriage. Like this, I don't know if y'all in love or nothing like that. But people do just go elope for whatever reasons. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person, because I haven't got any of your emotion. But I feel like this person is deeply in love. They confirmed it. They ran it by their parents. They got the okay. And now they are ready to move forward and start taking action on making sure they secure you. Making sure that you happy. Making sure that you have everything you need. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like just... Really making sure you in a place where you ain't wanting for nothing. 
where you don't need nothing well, outside of them. You don't need nothing outside of them. Understand what I just said? Outside of them. So they don't want you going to nobody. They want to secure this, okay? Ace of Swords, okay? Comes with the Two of Swords. Okay? This person wants to please you. Okay? Something they can't see, though. Right? It's like, make, because I don't see your emotion in this, Pisces. I don't feel your emotion in this. And that's odd, considering the circumstances. That's really odd. So, um, this person may be blindly rushing into a situation with you. Right? Doing everything in their power for to please you so you can like them or maybe love them or maybe commit to them. Okay, I feel like this person, they, they may be even trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Take it how it resonates. Okay, they may be trying to blind you with all these gifts and all these trips and, you know, all this stuff that got you happy. Now, they really do want to invest. You. I really feel them loving you for real and, and um, ready to move forward. I feel like that's real. But when this two of swords come out, it's, it's either... You know, you may not feel how they feel. You may not want all that. I don't know. It's something. But it's 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 got you got to be honest. Maybe that's what the ace of swords is representing. You got to be honest. So what else comes with this ace of swords? And it's the king of swords. Pisces, I don't feel like you, you know, feel the same about this person. With this king of swords. Or it's them. Not feeling the same about you. Okay. What is this king of swords? What is this king of swords feeling? What is this king of swords truth? I mean because it's so cold right here with the truth. The cold hearted truth is. um, Somebody may not want it. Wow. What is this king of swords? Why is this king of swords here? It's the six of swords. Somebody may be moving on with a situation they may not really be emotionally attached to. That's what I'm getting. Maybe somebody doing it for the money, doing it for the trips, doing it for the fame, doing it for the investment. I feel like somebody's deeply in love with somebody that went and talked to their parents, ready to commit, can't get somebody off their mind, feel like there's a lot of unfinished business, so much I want to do, so much I want to say, so many places I want to take you, you know, but that third party is just something that's getting in the way. And I feel like that's somebody not really feeling the same as how this person feels. Somebody might feel like, no, nah, this too good to be true. Something ain't right about this. Guard it really thinking, really in their mind about it, ready to cut this situation off, looking for it, looking for something, looking for the red flags, looking for, you know, some signs. Okay. The strength could be somebody holding back, but I feel like for your person, they, they just got the courage to live out their truth. They got, they feeling free, you know, they moving forward. They brave enough, right? Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, this person is highly focused on you, okay? They may even record you sometimes or take pictures of you. Or if they looking at your pictures, I mean, they doing close-ups, you know. Um, I feel like this person is really focused on um, your well-being, right? And and they, you got to be really strong, a really strong person to really invest into somebody that, that may not be so sure about you. Right. But this person is highly focused on you, you know, highly invested into you. They want to make sure that you make it, that you can, you know, provide yourself as well as them providing for you. It's like they putting you on to some type of game, like they showing you how to get money or how to keep money or how to invest money. Or it's just something about you elevating out of this. You gain from this situation. Ooh, but when it comes to the emotional department, Pisces, I never seen a reading where you didn't feel anything, which is odd to me. Okay. The tower comes with this uh, strength card. Okay. 
If you don't really care for this person, this situation isn't going to last long because it's going to become annoying. It's like if this is you using somebody once, you know, it's like once you get everything you want out of it, you're, 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 it's, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna fall apart eventually because somebody ain't in it for the right thing. And I'm not saying this person trying to cake you or buy you or whatever. I feel like this is just who they are. That is their love language, money, gifts, trips, stuff that don't really mean nothing to you. So they may be doing all this and it may look good, but it don't bring you no emotional fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I feel like the tower showed up because you could give me anything in the world. We could take many trips as we want. You could actually really truly be in love with me. You could be happy with me. You can invest in me. You can want to marry me. Hell, I could have married you. We could have did go elope. But the fact of the matter is, I don't feel anything. And that's my truth. And I didn't know that there, that this was it. What you showed me was it. I didn't know that you didn't really, you know, you're not really compassionate and have empathy or, you know, like to touch and feel and hug and snuggle and cuddle. You know, you're not giving me the emotional side of you. Right. And that could be making somebody feeling like, you know, I might have to move on from this situation. But I do see this person doing everything in their power to make sure that you're okay and that you could stand on your own and that you have everything you need and that you don't have to go to nobody for nothing, but maybe some emotion. That's the, that's the downfall of this situation. They're not showing any emotion. Their love language is the stuff they can do for you. So you got to understand that if that's something you could deal with, this could be a successful relationship. But if that if you crave emotion, you need that affection, you need to feel love because money ain't going to buy your love, but that's their love language. And you have to know there is a difference. This person isn't trying to buy your love. That's their love language. OK, so for you. That might break you down in the long run or all of a sudden you may feel like, you know what? I can't do it. Okay. But this fool, it's like they waiting for you. This is this like, let's go. Let's go on this journey. Let's see where it takes us. They trust you. They believe in this. I just feel like you're not so sure. The Ace of Wands. Yes, they, they feel like this is it. You've ignited a fire in them. You've uh, you've ignited their creativity. You give them strength and inspiration like you're encouraging to them. The way you touch them. The Ace of Wands also speaks of having the Midas touch. The way you touch them affectionately or, you know, that means something to them. This person is all kind of excited about you. I mean, this is truly their love language. And I think that what the universe is trying to tell you in this situation is that um, their emotional language is not the same as yours. Okay? This, that world, that's a fixed sign. Like this person is just uh, the way they are. This is who they is. What you see is what you get. This is not uh, fake. It's just... There's no emotion. The, the type of emotion that you need, that you crave, it, that you're not going to get that out of this situation. Okay? Four of Swords. Oh, Pisces. It comes with the fool. Okay? You may even walk away from this situation to heal yourself because you probably thought you were going to get the whole package. It's what we all want, the whole package. And the whole package is just to be able to be financially secure, be able to do all these things and um, get all these things that money could buy. But on the other side, I also want a, a, a loving home. I also want to feel compassion and affection from my person. You know, I want to feel that deep soul connection. This is just a situation where there's no deep soul connection because this is someone who does not operate from an emotional space. This is someone who believes that they could buy 
You know, that's the way they show you. If I buy you a ring and put a ring on your finger, that, that lets you know that I love you. If I could take you on a trip around the world or we can go to Vegas or we could go to Hollywood, that's me showing you I love you because I'm not going to do this shit for somebody I don't care about. You can believe that. I ain't no fool. It's just when the way I show my love is through purchasing things to through taking you places and, you know, it, having new new experiences all the time. You know, not so much as me laying up in the bed with you, hugging on you, kissing on you, watching romantic movies. That's not what I do. I'm not affectionate like that. So you have to understand that it's not that they're trying to buy love. This is their love. This is the way they love. That's their love language. They invest into a person. They want, they, they build in somebody like kind of. So what's crossing the energy? It's the queen of pentacles. Yeah, king and queen of pentacles. So, you know, they feel like they found their wife or their husband. They feel like they found the person who they're divine. That, that's what they think they have. They think that you're okay with everything. And if you're not, you have to be honest before y'all go elope. Because they truly are in love with you. They're ready to commit to you. Okay, they talk about you to their parents. Their parents is okay with this if you met them or whatever. Okay, they daydream about you. They they dream about you when they sleep. They can't get enough for you. It's so many things they want to do with you. It's so much they haven't explored with you yet. Okay, and that third party situation is just you're not feeling the emotion. And when this all wears off and, and you realize this what it is, when you want to come in for a hug or you want to lay up and spend some time with them or watch a movie, pop some popcorn, they ain't, they ain't really with all that. That's the thing. So Pisces, this is the energy. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the sixth chakra, and it's the third eye chakra, and this one is relevant to acknowledge spirit. I trust in a higher source, and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. In the stillness, I listen for the wisdom inside, and I am open to the spirituality that is within and all around me. I know that love is the creative force. I meditate and welcome mystical truths. I am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest from a spiritual teacher, master, or guru. So acknowledge spirit is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead. Hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.